Um, next, we're going to share a number of fact sheet, newsletter, or report templates that we've created to help you communicate your page to different external audiences. Uh, our main goal here is, uh, was to provide concise, user-friendly guides that you can easily modify for your own use with your own local data. I have. Now, I'm going to start by sharing the first template with you. Um, I'll introduce you to this community school checkup template. Um, but before I show you the actual template, I just want to review with you kind of what the data audience, medium, and goal are for this template. Um, <clears throat> as you'll see, this template is designed to present risk and protective uh, factor scale score data for one year of the pays. Um, we think it would be, would be useful when communicating with prevention and school boards, school administrators, possibly county officials and policymakers. Um, these are just some ideas of, of the types of audiences you might want to share this type of template or report um, with. Um, it's primarily designed to be a printed two-page front and back fact sheet, um, but it is in a PowerPoint um, template as well, so you could potentially use it as uh, for presentations. Um, but the primary goal is to present a snapshot of your risk and protective factors for a particular year um, and compare those to where you stand in relation to um, kind of the national norm and also the PA Pennsylvania averages, uh, again, in a concise user-friendly document. This first page um, is just a, kind of a step-by-step -step guide on how you would modify this template using your, your actual local data. So I'm not going to talk you through each of these, um, but it is here for your reference. Let's move on to showing you what the actual template looks like. So hopefully this isn't too small on your screen, but basically this is set up as one side of a page is uh, kind of a highlight of your protection, uh, protective factor scale scores. And obviously this, this is not the entire list of protective factors that you receive um, data on, but it kind of just highlights a few of the community protective factors. Sorry, I'll use my little arrow here. Um, two of the community protective factors, two of the school, and then two of the family. Um, and this provides uh, just kind of brief definitions of what each of these uh, factors are and how they have been shown to be related to fewer uh, problems in, in, um, in the future for youth. And the text actually is taken directly from the PAYS report, so you can feel free to copy and paste um, the text directly from the report into this document, depending on which, <coughs> excuse me, which of the risk or sorry, which of the protective factors you choose to highlight for your community. Now, it's set up so that there's a, a pretty easy uh, to understand and interpret, uh, uh, I guess, scale right here. It goes from, in this case, for protective, uh, protective factors, we have the red, which is on the lower end of the scale, is if you have lower protective factors, then that's considered unhealthy. And then to the right, we have the green, which indicates healthy, and that's higher than average protective factors, which means that that's um, a strength in your community. We have here again the 50 score marked in the middle to indicate the average, so that you can see to the right of that is going to be um, higher than average scores, which is a good thing, and to the left of that is going to be lower than average scores, which is not such a good thing. It's a, a potential weakness. Um, the other thing that we did here is we're able to concisely kind of summarize both with the white arrows or the triangles, um, the any town average or the local data, and then and that's on the top half of the arrow. The bottom half with the black arrow is where the state average would be. So not only do you get to compare your um, protective factor score um, in comparison to the national norm, which again is that 50 score, um, so you know that if you're to the left of that, you're a little bit lower than average. If you're to the right of it, you're a little higher than average compared to the national norms. Um, but you can also compare where you're at in relation to the Pennsylvania averages. So again, the goal here is just in a concise form, kind of presenting a number of different pieces of data and information kind of that can be at a glance interpreted fairly easily, we think. So that gives you, I, I think, a good sense for, for this template. Again, it's designed so that you can um, download this and edit it as you see fit for your particular um, community or school with your data. Um, the other side of um, the, the sheet is designed to be where you would summarize your risk factor scales. So again, just highlighting a number, a number of um, risk factors, scale scores across a couple of different domains. 
um, and it's set up the exact same way. Only in this case, we know that lower scores um, for risk factors is a good thing. So the green part of the arrow is on the left and the red part of the arrow is on the right side.